Hey guys, once again it's your old pal Vinny, uh, helping you get through the treacherous waters of music theory as related to guitar. And uh, I got a special request from Stan Dup, who I wonder if that's a real name or not. Stand Up, Stand Up. Uh, anyway, Stan, you requested, uh, I have a visual trick for uh, learning to find the, uh, the names of notes on this, uh, the various strings on the guitar. I had said that the only strings you need to learn are the E string, the A string, and the B string. And on top of that, I'm not concerned about flats or sharps, just the natural notes, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now, first off though, you must have memorized, um, when you think of A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? You have to have memorized that between E and F, is a half step, there's no fret in between, and between B and C is a half step, there's no note in between. The rest are whole steps, meaning there is one fret in between the notes, so A to B, that's a whole step, but B to C is a half step. So in your mind, just engrave in your mind, E, F, B, C, half steps, all right? Now, knowing that, you could find any of the notes on any of the strings just from that alone, but you'll be doing some fishing. In other words, um, you have the E open string. If I treated the open string, like behind the ivory here, behind the nut, as a fret, E to F would be a half step. There's no note in between those two, all right? So that means the open string, F, is the first note on the E string on the first fret. Then we know that uh, the rest of the notes, up to B to C at least, are whole steps. So F to G, G to A, A to B, all whole steps, and B to C finally breaks that, and we have a half step. Uh, now, obviously, you could find all the notes on all the strings, like for example, the G string, a G, it's a whole step to A, whole step to B, half step to C, whole step to D, so on and so forth. B on the B string, B to C is a half step. Remember, engrave that in your mind, E, F, B, C. Now, I have a visual trick that will make things faster. Now, first question is, why have I said don't worry about flats or sharps? Uh, easy, all right? Here's the A note on the low E string, right? If I know where A is, I certainly know how to lower it to A flat or raise it to A sharp. So all I really need to target is the A note. Um, Besides that, because of enharmonic tones, which all flats and sharps are enharmonic, meaning they have two, two names for the same pitch. If I go to A sharp, that's A raised up a half step. But if I go to B flat, that's B lowered a half step, same note. All right, so enharmonics tend to be confusing because you have to think of a couple of names. So this takes away some of that clutter. All right, all we want to think of is E, F, G, A, B. Now, next question. Why do I say just the E, A, and B strings? Uh, that has to do with a visual trick, okay? Now, first of all, the very first thing, and you should know this like common sense here, but you have a low E string and a high E string. It only goes to, um, it only makes sense that if I go E to F on the low E string, it's gonna be the same on the high E string, so F and F are the same on both of these strings, of course, right? So that means you eliminate the high E string because you have the low E string. If you know B is here, you know B is there, right? Easy. So we've just eliminated one string. How do I eliminate some of the others? The visual trick is this. It's the octave shape. And if you, get, if you make a mental image of this, you'll always be able to grab the notes on the D and G strings. Now those are the ones I eliminated the D, uh, the D string, the G string, and the high E string. You don't have to learn those. Why? Now, let's look at this. I have the low E string, and I want to go up to a G, so it's a half step to F and a whole step to G. Now, the visual trick is very simple. You go up two frets and down two strings. If, so if you have a G here and you jump over to the D string, you know there's a G there too. This is the octave shape. All right. And Lucky enough, we have the same situation on the A string. If I find a, a C on the A string, A, whole step to B, half step to C, I go up two frets, down two strings. I have a C on my G string. So if you could see a C here, you could see a C there from C to shining C. Lots to see there. Okay, sorry. Um, 
Unfortunately, though, when you get to the D string, you can't make the same shape. It becomes longer to make the octave. And I don't want to confuse you with more visualizations. So what you should learn is the, the E string, the A string, and the B string. Now let's try a little test, all right? Let's say I want to find a C note, all right, on all the strings, right? So first I want to start with my low E. I go half step to F right here, whole step G, whole step A, whole step B, and there's my C, right? Now, to find the C on the D string, real easy, just up to and down to. Now I found the C there. If you can make that shape in your mind, you're doing good. Now let's go to the, now we have two strings covered with that C note, correct? Now, if I go to the A string, I count up whole step to B, half step to C, go up two, two uh, frets, down two strings, there's my shape again. Now I found C on the E string, C on the D string, C on the A string, C on the G string, and of course the C over here is met on the high E string as well, so that string is covered of course. Next one to be concerned about is the B string, uh, and it's a half step from B to C, so that's first step. So now we have all the C's, C, 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 all around. That's uh, the long and short of it. I do hope that little trick helps you. It's pretty easy, and uh, here's a little way to drill yourself. Choose one of the natural notes, A, B, C, D, E, F, or G, no sharps, no flats, and go uh, task yourself to finding it, the particular note, on every string. So let's say F. Half step from E to F is a half step. Of course, I could find it on the D string using my trick. There's F. Now, to get the other F on the A string, I will have to count up. Whole step to B, half step to C, whole step to D, whole step to E, half step to F. There's my next F. And then do the trick to get it on the G string. And I have my F there. I told you the only other string you have to memorize is the B string, and you go half step to C, whole step to D, whole step to E, half step to F, and then finally F is replicated there from the low E string. So F, 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 right? And then uh, on the B string, oh, we're looking for F on the B string. B, C, D, E, F, and then F replicated over there. Uh, it's a very simple trick, um, probably uh, you might be a little disappointed because it's so simple. Uh, hopefully though it will help you. Drill yourself, choose a note, and what you want to do is, is find that note as fast as you can on each of the strings. <coughs> if one of them is named after an open string, say a D and you have a D string, go to the octave at the 12th fret instead. In other words, we want you to find the notes using your fingers on every string, not the open strings. So go to the octave if you have the same name for an open string, like E is here, so go there to E and there to E on the high string. Hope that helps you, and talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.